Hello, we are going to learn how to make a very simple content switcher with Elementor uh, without any plugin and really without uh, much difficulty at all. This is a very simple tutorial. So let's just get started right away. The very first thing you will want to do is in your uh, Elementor editor page, uh, I have it. The goal is to make those uh, two inner sections here switch in between them. So it's just a normal column with two inner section. And then a, this is just a two price table elements and how to switch uh, in between them. So the first thing you will want is to go at the end of your page essentially and to add uh, the HTML that you will get from my article. So just copy paste everything in a HTML element towards the end of your page. And if you would like this across your website, you can even copy paste it in the uh, footer, in your footer template. So here we have the code. This is what will add the functionality. And this will be for the styling. I will come back to this a little bit later. So after you've added this, uh, the only other part remaining is to add the little toggle itself. So we will need another uh, HTML element for this. Add it before your inner section. And in this one, you will paste the other bit of code that you will find in my tutorial. So here, and essentially this code is just for the uh, checkbox. And then this is the label. Uh, that is styled with the CSS that we've just seen that makes it looks uh, like this. So that's uh, really all there is to it. Now you can click on update and the code really takes care of everything. Let's go back to the page. Let's refresh it now. We'll get this version. So you can see automatically we only see one of the two inner sections. And if I click here, it's uh, switching in between them. So it's uh, really simple. I simplified this design to make it as easy as possible. So now let's see how we would go about adding it to these uh, price tables. So essentially you, you can just duplicate the HTML element or add a new one and again copy paste the uh, same code. So let's just duplicate it and let's add it right before the price tables. And the only other thing that's needed and it's uh, essential is to give it a uh, unique ID. So let's call it content switcher two. And then a on the label four, it also needs to be unique so content switcher two it needs to match essentially so this is the id and this is for this input checkbox and right away it will work so let's uh, update let's go on the page let's refresh and you can see now we only see one of the uh, pricing table let's click it and now we see the new one when uh, it's clicked. So it's that simple, but you can see now on the left, when I click the uh, header element goes up and down. So to avoid this, go back to your uh, edit space to zero. And now of course it becomes too close. So instead of using this to space your elements, just use padding. So we'll just add padding right to the uh, bottom of the HTML element, let's say 30. And now let's update and let's have a look again. And now if I click, you see everything stays stable and it looks much better this way. And in here, this was already ready, but why nothing is moving is because I set the exact same height to these inner sections. So that's probably something you will want as well. So if we look at the uh, inner section settings, so you can see that the main height 
is set to 440 and this is true for both of them. So now to explain the code a little bit or at least to explain like how this works, it's as simple as wherever the HTML element that has the toggle is placed, the following two elements will become uh, switched in between them. So of course, if you want it to be very, very like flexible, you just use inner sections and then you can place whatever you want and switch in between these. But if you just want to use like a specific element and switch in between it itself, essentially it and a replica of itself, that's slightly different, then you can use that and it will work for really any kind of element. So uh, to make another quick demonstration, let's just say I add it here. I make the uh, ID unique. And then let's just add um, a, a bunch of icons or it doesn't have to be matching elements either. So let's add this icon and let's just add this adding element. It will be good enough for demonstration. And now let's refresh. And it's working just fine. We have the similar problem where uh, it's kind of moving the page a little bit because those elements are not the same height. So you can fix this by setting the same height. Of course, for these, you will probably need custom CSS to set the exact same height. But for inner sections, we already have this setting. So yeah, it's very convenient to use with inner section. And finally, how do we style this a little bit different? Well, you just have to go in the HTML element that you added at the bottom of your page. And then in there, you will find all the CSS linked to the styling of uh, this little toggle. And essentially, uh, you can find the one that are related to color and then just play with them, change them uh, and uh, essentially adjust the colors to your liking, to whatever you would prefer. So that's all for the tutorial. So I hope you have enjoyed and uh, let me know in the comments if, if you liked it and also uh, please subscribe for more uh, simple tutorial like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you very soon.